Okay, g'day guys, Andrew Dwight. Uh, just gonna talk about concrete slabs and uh, where the recess starts from. So uh, I'm gonna start with a wall because it helps me explain why and where recesses go in concrete, uh, technically and also um, why and where they go. So let's have a look. So I'm just gonna quickly just draw four walls. Nothing important here, it has really no reflection other than me being able to explain to you a little bit about it. Okay, so we have a load bearing wall, okay? And then usually on a double layered wall or a cavity wall, we have the internal wall as load bearing. The reason being is the water penetrates brickwork, it does rot and so on. And this particular frame beam brick veneer is timber, therefore we have a cavity. Okay, so if I go right click walls and I generate a floor face from walls, You'll notice that the floor face is created from the external skin of the internal. Okay, so uh, a step down would always come from here. So if I go to, uh, well, let's have a look at this a little bit further. Uh, so if I go tape measure and go out to here, I've got 150 millimeters in this particular wall type. That can be changed, but that's not what this tutorial is about. Right, so I now go to my concrete slab. And I have in here a recess width. Okay, so if I went in here and said, okay, I can go thickness only, all right, which if I did that, it's going to have no recesses. So if I go submit, you'll notice that the concrete slab only worked to the structure. Therefore, these bricks would be sitting in, in midair. We can edit these slabs. So if I go back and I click on this slab and I go back to here and say, well, I want a recess in it because it's a veneer building. Uh, I'm not going to go thickness only. Uh, and I'm going to have a recess. So my recess width is 150 millimeters, and my recess depth would be guided by yourself. Usually we work to brick courses in Australia, yet I understand that a lot of uh, countries might just go a minimum step down just for water reasons. Okay, and if I go submit now, you'll notice that here's my distance down in my recess, and here's my distance out in the recess, 150. Now that works fine, provided you, you've got a wall that's in a loop that you can create a face from. The problem comes about when you might have multiple different wall types. Now best practice when using Plusbeck is to do all your external walls in one loop. However, I understand it's not possible at all the time. So from this uh, particular thing here, I can't create walls, generate full face from walls. I can't do it because the wall's not a loop. All right, so how do I go about it? Well, there's two ways I could do it. I could go and I can simply draw my slab from the outside of these walls, but I would go thickness only. So I'm going to say thickness only, 100 millimeters submit. I can now draw from here to here to here to here. You get the idea. Okay. But if I wanted a recess on there, I would also need to be able to go through and do my recesses. Now you can do recesses in slabs, uh, and essentially I would need to know, well, from here is where my recess would start. So I'm gonna create my scenes just quickly because it's gonna help me a little bit by just going to structure. And now I can see where my recess would go. And I can now go in, I'll just put that in parallel projection perspective, sorry, just makes it a little bit easy to navigate. And I can go in here, I can click on my slab, I can right click, go slab, and I can use the recess tool and add recess, and I can put in a thickness of my recess. So 100 millimeters, uh, sorry, a depth. All right, so I can go to here and go here, here. And what it's gonna do, is gonna drop the outside of this slab down 100 millimeters. You see that I didn't, I kind of messed around a little bit there, but we're not actually going to build this one, so I'm not going to get too concerned about it. And up to here. And bang, I have my recess around the outside. Actually, that didn't do exactly what I wanted to do, and I hadn't seen that before, and I am working on a beta version here. I'm just going to sit quickly, just have a, um, a test here and see what else I can come up with. Hmm. Slab. Recess. Add recess. 
Just quickly give it a test here, eh? Right. Now, because I push Control Z there, the tool's not going to work. So I need to actually cancel, go back, select it, slab, add recess, uh, add void, remove void, recess tool, add recess. <clears throat> Now it is definitely a slower way. I'm going to show you another way that you can do it. <clears throat> I can do the same thing here. Shift. It's kind of good to make mistakes while you're doing tutorials anyway, uh, because no doubt you guys are going to make them as well. And being that it's a new feature, I guess I can be forgiven. All right, so now I have the recesses on three sides. It's a little bit more labor intensive. Uh, you can put recesses anywhere. And sometimes you might have a lift shaft or something like that. You might even say, well, you know what, I'm gonna change my recess, 500. Right. You can also move your recesses. So if I go right click, slab, recess tool, move recess, you notice that if I select this one here, I can move them to suit where I want them to be. Okay, so uh, another work around, I guess, if I go back to all here and I wanted to actually create my slab from the outside with a recess. Uh, so I'll just take these four walls here move them over to here and if I went right click walls generate floor face from walls and I offset it so F is your shortcut or offset tool and I went okay so here offset to here right now if I double click the center and push shift and turn that one off there and go delete I can now go and create uh, a slab the same way as I did before. Uh, let's have a look. Thickness only. Thickness only. And go submit. Right. So whether you trace around it or whether you use create full face from walls or you know, you can just basically draw it. So if I undid that, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, you can simply just go and draw a rectangle here. And if it was a three wall setup, same thing. So yes, I can now go and create that from there. So the face is like form work, I guess, and it doesn't matter what you create in faces. And there's a few cool things you can do with slabs as well. Let's have a look. This one here is probably going to give me an error. Let's have a look. So we've got an internal line there and it's not going to like it. You need to sort of keep in mind your eye on, eye on what happens with geometry. That worked okay with that. I just control Z it uh, and put some footings around it. Control Z undo. Thickness only, no. actually worked pretty well we've done a fix on that guys um, you might have noticed before if you ever had a rectangle like this and you had split lines I'm not even sure if I'm using that version now but and if I went to do my slab you might notice that sometimes the footing didn't come out that fix has been done and it will be released today there we go didn't draw a slab you see uh, if you ever wanted to know where you had uh, individual lines on the outside see that there is a way in styles where you can actually go through your styles and if you go to edit styles and you go to lines and go endpoints you'll notice you can now see where that slab has been divided up now this isn't the latest version the latest version has a fix for this all right i hope that helps out cheers